Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a nail polish declutter video. This has been very long awaited. I have been wanting to film this for a while. I just haven't had the chance to. So yeah, I'm going to go through all of my nail polish and we are going to get rid of some. I have so much excess in my nail polish drawer. It's overwhelming. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through everything. I'm gonna share with you guys what I'm purging and yeah, let's get started. Okay, so this is my nail polish drawer. Um, I kind of have it separated. Sorry, I'm talking soft because Eli is sleeping in the next room so I can't like yell. Um, but this is in the, it's actually the bottom drawer of my Alex 9 drawer from Ikea and I kind of separate it by brand. So I have like a bunch of Julep, um, a ton of Essie, I have like OPI kind of in here, and I honestly have like a ton more back there like in the drawer that you can't see. I have way too much nail polish. This is a problem right here. <laughs> like I need to clear some out. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them out, um, the nail polish is out kind of by brand. Um, and just go through them and weed out the ones I don't use. Okay, so in front of my drawer, I kind of had all of my top coats and base coats and any kind of like treatment. Um, and then I also had some other things I'll show you real quick. But I'm just going to go through actually, I'm actually going to go through each one of these and kind of just share with you what I have um, and what works well for me. So let's get started. So I have this Julep. It's called the Oxygen Nail Treatment and it is a nail treatment. It's kind of this like really nice light pinkish color. Um, it goes on very sheer, but it is a treatment for your nails. So it kind of just helps build the strength in your nails and um, it just helps allow for your nails to grow really. Um, so I love this stuff. I think it's great. I actually have a backup of it um, and I don't use it often because I like my nails painted because I have really bad nails. Honestly, like my nails are really bad. That's why I have so much nail polish, because I need to cover them up. Um, but when I do um, like need a break, I always put this on. It's really good treatment for your nails. The all-time winner for nail treatments goes to this. I've talked about this so many times. It is called Nail Teaks, and this is the Formula 2 um, kind. There's like different formulas of Nail Teaks, but Formula 2 is the best one I've ever tried. I said before I have really, really bad nails. Um, they peel really bad. They break really bad. They just, they get really dry. Um, they're just bad. Um, so this is the only thing, honestly, that keeps my nails from like not peeling constantly. So the only base coat I actually have is by Orly. This is the Bonder. The rubberized base coat. I just got this recently and I've been using it. It's a really good base coat um, and it's the only base coat I have right now and it's pretty good. I have to say it makes my nail polish last a lot longer so I like it. Okay this is the out the door top coat. I've been using this a ton recently. I used to use it all the time. It's very drying and it's very glossy and it works. It's pretty good and it's actually really really affordable. I got mine at Target. The other top coat I have is by Julep. It's called their Freedom Polymer Top Coat, um, and I actually really love this. It's a great, thick, glossy top coat, and the only problem I have with this is it kind of takes a little bit to dry, um, but it is a really good top coat. A couple of Sally Hansen one I have the Gel Shine 3D Top Coat and the Mega Shine. Um, both of these are pretty good. The Gel Shine tends to take a long time to dry, the Mega Shine um, dries quicker, but it doesn't say, it actually doesn't stay as shiny, and it's kind of very thin. Um, so these are okay. I definitely, I suggest the Gel Shine over the Mega Shine, um, but yeah, they're, they're okay. They're good ones from the drugstore, I guess. The other one I have is from Hard Candy, and this is actually a matte top coat. Um, this is when matte nails became like the thing to have. I grabbed this, um, and it's actually not very good, so I think I'm actually going to get rid of this. Um, it does make your nails matte, but it also like kind of shrivels up, and it actually 
it doesn't look very good so I actually am going to get rid of this okay I have so much nail polish that I have nail polish I haven't even taken out of packages that's how much nail polish I have this is bad um, and I just want to say if you find anything in any of my declutters that you're like oh my gosh you're getting rid of that I want it and um, if it seems like it's in good shape I'll let you know and if you guys want it let me know in the comments down below um, so if you guys want any of these colors let me know and I will gladly um, talk to you about either selling it to you or um we'll figure something out so yeah um yeah i have i have nail polish that hasn't even been used in packages this is bad okay so next i have all of my essie polishes that are kind of in the neutral tone i have tons of essie so i had to split them up um and i think i'm just gonna go through i'll quickly mention them this is Muji Muji. i love this one it's such a good one um romper room is probably one of my favorite pinky colors um, this one is Spin the Bottle. Um, this one kind of seems like it's turning bad, but it does still wear pretty good, and I've worn it actually a couple times. So I'm going to keep that one. Um, I have, this is Urban Jungle. This is another one of like my all-time favorites. This one is Comfy Cashmere. I think I'm going to get rid of this. This one was a cashmere matte, and it did not wear well, and it looked really bad on, so I think I'm going to get rid of this one. This one is Marshmallow. It is one of my favorites of all time. Um, it's such an awesome polish. It's very sheer and very bridal, um, but it just gives you like a white wash over your nails. It's very sheer. I love it. Um, this one is Take It Outside, a beautiful gray. We won't get rid of that. Um, this one is Topless and Barefoot, a great nude. This is probably one of the most flattering nude colors I own. Love it. Um, this one is Playa Del Platinum. This used to be my favorite polish of all time, and you could see, like, I don't have much left, but I think it has slightly turned, and every time I try to use it, it smells bad, so I think I'm just gonna get rid of it. This is San Tropez, another really pretty kind of, like, tannish nude color. Love it. Not getting rid of that. Um, I'm gonna keep, this one is in Private Weekend. I will keep that. It's a really pretty white color. Um see ladylike this is a really pretty mauve uh, miss fancy pants i'm not getting rid of this one i think this one is master plan this is like this is the i think this one might be my favorite of all time like it's the best great color ever Okay, just a couple more darker colors that are kind of, not neutral, but just like grayish, I guess. Um, this one's Sable Collar. I kind of think I'm going to get rid of this. It's like a duochrome burgundy-ish color, and I don't wear it that often, so I'm going to get rid of this one. This one is Don't Sweater It. It's like a kind of taupey brown color. I'm obsessed with it. It's like one of my favorites. Um, this one is Armed and Ready, and I think it's like the coolest olive green color. So pretty, not getting rid of that. And then this one is in the shade Smokin' Hot, and I'm definitely going to keep this one too. I wear it all the time in the fall. Okay, these are my pinky purple ones, and I have Boom Boom Room. This one's a great one for the summer for my toes, so I'm going to keep that one. Um, this one is Splash of Grenadine, and I actually almost got rid of this one a long time ago, and then I kept it, and I'm so glad I did because I love it for my toes in the summer, so I'm going to keep it. Um, this one is Recessionista. Recessionista. Um, great one for fall. I'm going to keep that. Um, this one's Playdate. I love this one as well. Um, this one is Cantaloupe, and I'm actually going to get rid of this one. I got it at TJ Maxx, and I think it went kind of bad, so I'm going to get rid of this one. This one is Meet Me at Sunset, and it's so old, but it's such a unique, like, red-orange color that I'm like, oh, do I get rid of you? I don't know. I think I might get rid of it. I don't. If I'm questioning it, I should get rid of it. This one is Too Too Hot, and it's I got it from TJ Maxx. It's like this neon red color, and it's really sheer, and I don't like it, so I'm going to toss it. This one is Mod Square. Such a beautiful pink color. I will keep that. Um, this one is Go Gingza. Gingza. Um, love this one as well. I'm going to keep this one. And then this one is She's Pampered. I got it in a Christmas collection. And it's like the perfect Christmas red. So I'm going to keep this one too. Okay, these are kind of the rest of my Essie polishes. And then we will move on to other ones, I promise. Um, so this one is Find Me in Oasis. And this is like my favorite blue. Oh my gosh, it's so, so pretty. Um, it's actually like the perfect spring color. So I've worn this one quite a bit actually on my toes lately. 
completely. So love it. Kini Sotini is a, such a good one and I'm going to keep that one. Um, and this one is Mint Candy Apple. This one's like a cult favorite and I love this one as well. It's really pretty. This one is Turquoise and Caicos and I used to love this. This used to be like my go-to but mine like got really watery. I don't know if you can tell in the, ugh, you can't tell but like you can kind of see it and it's just super watery. Like I don't know what happened to it. I think it went bad so I'm just going to toss it. This is the shade First Timer and honestly I'm just not a green nail polish wearer so I think I'm just going to get rid of this one as well. I don't wear it that often. This one is Chills and Thrills and then this one is I'm Addicted and I love both of them for my toes in the summer. I wear them a lot. I, I like blue tones actually on my toes in the summer or like neon pinks. Those are like my favorite. This one is Leggy Legend, um, and I think I'm going to keep this one. I just got it this fall, and it's really pretty. I think it's a good, fun fall color. I have two glittery ones. This one is Set in Stones, and this one is Beyond Cozy. I think I'm going to get rid of Set in Stones. I don't wear it that often. I used to wear it all the time, but I don't wear it much anymore. Um, but this one is such a really pretty, like, sheen shimmer color on your nails. It's really pretty. Um, I like it way better than that one. Okay, so moving right along into my OPI, I kind of feel like I just need to tell you what they are, but yeah, we might. Um, so this one is the Dark Side of the Mood. Um, I think this was from like the 50 Grapes. 50 Shades of Grey collection. It's a really dark charcoal gray, but it turned. Look how weird it got. It got like really funky at the bottom so I'm gonna get rid of this one. Another one I know I'm gonna get rid of this is in Sweetheart and again it turned on the bottom it's like really yellow and I tried to mix it and stuff and it's still like it's still acting weird so I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. I'm also gonna get rid of Wooden Shoe Like to Know. Um, it's like a brown with like a gold sparkle um, and I just don't wear it that often so I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm also gonna get rid of Myrrh Mur on the wall. That sounds murmur. Um, it's just like a duochrome type polish, and I have a lot of these, so and I just don't wear this one very often, so I'm gonna get rid of it. I think I'm gonna get rid of Samoan Sand. Um, I just don't wear this one very often, and then this nude on me just doesn't look right. Um, it kind of just like blends into my skin and it makes it look kind of weird. Um, so I'm going to get rid of this one. This was in a limited edition collection. Um, it was Visions of Love and I have no idea what collection it was from. It's like a really dark maroon, almost black color and I think I'm going to get rid of this. Um, I have a couple other polishes like this that I like just a little bit better. Um, this one's just really dark so I'm going to get rid of it. Okay, the rest of these I think I'm going to keep. I'll go through them very, very quickly. So this is my all-time favorite fall nail polish. It is Germanicure. A great glitter polish, a favorite ornament. A good neon, hotter than you pink. Don't bossa nova me around. My vampire is buff. Lost on Lombard. You don't know Jacques. You're such a Budapest. Play the peonies. Chillin' like a villain. Embrace the gray. Every month is Oktoberfest and Incognito and Salsalito. Okay, moving right along, I have some more nail polish. These are, I don't want to say higher end, but I have, the rest are going to be Jewel Up and like drugstore ones. So these are like in the middle, I guess. Um, so I have like some Orly, China Glaze, Zoya, Put her London and some random. So I'll share with you what I'm getting rid of. So these are my Zoya polishes. This is Rue Dot Farah. And what is this one? Giovanna. Um, and I think out of these, I'm just going to be keeping Rue. Um, it's a pretty mauve. And these I just don't wear very often. So I'm going to get rid of these. So I actually only have three China Glaze polishes. And the first one is Flirty Tankini. This one is Peachy Keen. And this one is Winter Holly. And I'm obviously, I'm going to keep this one because I love holiday polishes and ones that are like really festive so I am going to keep this one just for that. Um, that's the only reason I have it obviously. I wouldn't wear this on a daily basis. I usually actually wear it on my toes. Um, and then I really love this one for my toes, Flirty Tankini. And this one seems to be turning so I'm going to get rid of Peach King. Okay so these are my oily polishes. I have, this one is the Devil May Care Halo. This is Orly Rage. 
This one is, it's not you, it's, or it's not me, it's you, I don't know, something like that. And then rock salad. Um, I think I'm going to keep these three. These two I wear on the holiday, and this one's just a really pretty rose gold. Um, these two I just don't wear very often. They're not very good formulas, so I'm going to get rid of them. These two are like my all-time favorite. If everything, if all my nail polish decided to get up and leave, I would need to go out and repurchase these two. This is the Nails Ink by Victoria Beckham. Victoria Beckham in bamboo white. This is such a pretty like pale whitish color. And then this one I have on my nails right now. This one is the CND Vinylux Weekly Polish in Cake Pop. It's such a pretty like baby pink color. I don't know. It's just so pretty. I love it. Then I have four Butter London polishes. I have Bluey and Macbeth, and then I have Fiver and La Moss. Um, so I'm actually going to get rid of these two up top. I don't wear that very, I don't wear them very often, um, but I really do like this kind of mint color and this kind of burgundy color. It's a really good formula, so I'm gonna keep them. Okay, so these are all of my drugstore, I guess. I have like CoverGirl, Revlon, Sinful Colors, some L'Oreal, some Wet n Wild, some more Stanley Hansen um, and let's go through these okay so these are two of Revlon ones this one is in flirt and this one is in girly and I think I'm gonna get rid of the girly it's kind of like a chunky glitter and it doesn't really look good on it. and you can see how watery it has gotten um, I can probably shake it up pretty good but it's just not I don't really like it on it's very chunky um, but this is a very pretty like purpley pink color so I think I am going to keep this one the next nail polish are from covergirl I actually I don't even know the names of them but I think I'm just gonna get rid of all three of these I don't really wear them and I actually don't really like the formula of these I think they chip on me very easily and they're very sheer so I'm just gonna get rid of these three okay so these are from L'Oreal and the formula is not very good on these and the only reason I would keep any of these would and it would be this one is because the color is so unique like it's like this mustardy yellow and I love it it's so different but it doesn't really look good on. It's just like an interesting colored polish. Um, but I actually don't really like the formula of these, so I think I'm gonna pass these along. I think I'm gonna get rid of them. Okay, the next ones I have are the Wet n Wild Mega Last polishes. And honestly, I never wear these. It's like an actual good formula too. They go on very nicely. The brush is really nice, it's very thick. And I love them, but I just never, ever, ever reach for them. Like, I have probably not worn these in over a year. Like, what am I doing with these? So I think I'm just going to get rid of them because I haven't touched them in so long. Um, I wish, I wish I could keep them. And I wish I would remember to wear them, but I just, I know I won't. So I'm going to get rid of them. This is such a random one from Forever 21, and it's an awful formula. I don't even know why I'd have it. So I'm going to get rid of it. These are my sinful color ones. And um, these are hard to give up because they are so cheap, but they are so cheap. They're like, you can find them for like 99 cents at places. Um, but these two colors I love for my toes, and they're actually really good formulas. They're really great like neon colors. Um, and I kind of like it with a tan in the summertime. Um, and this color I have never found again. Um, it's called pink. Like, I don't even know. Like, I think it was from, like, a neon collection they came out with or something. So I'm going to keep these two. Um, as far as these, I think I'm just going to get rid of them. I don't wear them that often. They just sit in the back of my makeup drawer. The last ones are the Sally Hansen. Um, these are the Extreme Wear the Hard as Nails collection, I guess, um, or kind from Sally Hansen and I'm gonna get rid of this one this is just like a pinky glitter color and I'm trying to like weed out a lot of my glitter ones so I'm gonna get rid of that one um, but these I love I think these are one of the best formulas in the drugstore and they're my favorite like these are one of my favorite toe polishes I really like bright colors in the summer and I go crazy obviously my feet are being shown in sandals more so I paint my nails my toenails a lot more often in the summer so I'm gonna keep these okay and last but not least I have all of my julep polishes I have so many if you don't know I am a julep maven member um, so I pay 20 bucks a month to get nail polish sent to me and I honestly haven't done it in months now because I have felt so overwhelmed with this collection that I haven't wanted any more nail polish even if the colors were like really pretty um I just feel like I have so 
much, um, especially in my Jewel Up collection here. So we're going to go through, we're going to weed out some of the bad ones. And actually, um, Jewel Up polishes have really good um, glitter polishes. So their glitter ones are probably my favorite formula of all glitter polishes. So I might keep some of those, but oh, let's try to weed out the bad ones. Okay, so I'm just trying to like bring out similar tones. Um, I'm not gonna go through like the names of any of them, um, but these four right here, um, this one is a really nice like nude color, but um, honestly, it doesn't look good on me. Um, so I think out of like all of these right here, I think these four I'm going to get rid of and I'm actually gonna keep this peachy one. It's a really opaque peach, which is hard to find. Um, but as far as these, I feel like I have a million colors like that. Um, this one kind of goes on very patchy and this one is just so old. So I'm gonna get rid of these. All right, here are some of the purple shades and um, I always put swatches on like the top so you can actually see what they look like, which I love about Jewel Polishes. Um, and this one I've had forever. I think I'm just gonna get rid of that one. This one, I don't even know if I've worn it at all. So I'm going to get rid of that one. This one's a really awesome neon purple. It's very unique. I'm going to keep this one. Um, this one, I feel like I have a color just like it. I think I'm going to compare it to one of the SE polishes I have um, and see if they're similar. If they are similar, I'm just going to get rid of the Julep one. And then um, this one, it's like this weird, like, kind of like sparkly purple. I don't think I'm gonna wear this one. I think I'm gonna get rid of it. Okay, not gonna lie, I kind of got sick of holding them. Um, so these are kind of like all the grayish silvery tones. Um, this one is like an awesome silver color. So I'm gonna keep this one. It's just so unique and I don't know if I'll... I don't know if I'll actually wear this color. I've worn it a couple times, like around holiday time, just for something flashy. Um, and then this one is actually in my name. It's Erin, and I love the color. It's like the perfect color for me. It's gray, so I have to keep this, and it actually is a really good gray color. It's a really good um, formula, so I'm gonna keep that one. This one is a white color, and it says it has a satin finish. It's a beautiful white. It's very opaque, and it's very hard to find a good white polish, so I'm going to keep this one. This one is a really pretty, like, just chunky glitter. It's like a dark, like, gunmetal-y color, um, so I'm going to keep this one. It's very unique, and it's a really good glitter one. These three, however, I feel like this one's like a rose gold and just like a light gray, and then kind of this like gunmetal-y kind of like shimmery color um, and I just don't wear them so I'm going to get rid of them. I have too many things kind of like it and they just need to be passed along. Okay so here's some like pinky reddy colors. Um, I think I'm gonna keep this one. It's like a really pretty neon pink. Like I said I love neon bright pink colors for my toes in the summer because when I'm tan it just looks so pretty. So I'm going to keep that one. Um, this one's a really good pink. I might get rid of it though because I have another one like it and I don't need multiple but it's a really good pink. I'm going to think about this one actually because it's a really good pink color. Yeah we'll think about it. This one's also a really good pink color. I think I'm going to keep it. It's almost like a corally pink. Um, it's like a really pretty lipstick color if that was a lipstick, um, but I really like the color so I am going to keep this one. These two I know I'm going to get rid of. This one's like a weird, it has like a weird silver sheen to it and this one just has weird glitter and I don't think, I don't even know if I've worn it. Um, it's just, I just don't love them so I'm going to get rid of them. And then I will keep this really pretty burgundy color I and mean, this is a satin finish and the formula on this one is really good. Okay, I feel like Julep always sends me blue polish. I feel like I always get blue polish from them. Um, but these are kind of like turquoise kind of duochrome sheen colors. Um, so I actually am going to get rid of them. I just don't wear this color. Um, I like it a little bit brighter, um, especially because I'm going to wear it on my toes. I'm not going to wear it on my fingers. So I'm going to get rid of these two. These two, however, I'm definitely going to keep. I love these colors. This one is a beautiful blue color. And this one's just like a really deep, like, royally 
blue purple color so I'm gonna keep these two this one in the middle right here is a really good navy color um, so I'm gonna keep that one it's a really deep navy very very pretty um, and then these two I feel like I have a million polishes like them except I don't anymore because I've gotten rid of so many um, but I just know that I'm not gonna wear them so I'm going to get rid of them okay and these are greeny colors and I've said before I don't wear green um, so these two are definitely going away Kelly green is just not my color and this is like a puke ugly green so I'm gonna get rid of those and I'm actually gonna keep these to give to my sister um, they are like really pretty olive green color so I'll keep those the last ones are just really pretty gold like glittery colors and this is a pretty copper color um, just some pretty gold so I'm gonna keep these they're really good quality glitter polishes so I'm going to keep those and that is it. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this nail polish declutter video. And if you have any video requests, leave them down below. If you like this video, like it. And if you are not subscribed, definitely subscribe to my channel. I make videos all the time and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.